as you guys can clearly see, it is very possible to get a path traced experience on a 3080 or 3080 Ti or 3090 because these GPUs perform similarly. We can see the reflections of the boats, buildings across the street, our own character's reflections, and we're at 1440p, max out rasterized settings, path trace lighting, ray trace reflections. Looks very, very good with ray reconstruction, nice and sharp. So overall, I am very impressed with how well the RTX 3000 series performs in this game, even with path tracing and reflections on. In this video, I'll be looking at Alan Wake 2 on an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti with the latest GeForce driver, which adds support for Alan Wake 2. And we've also done a little bit of an overclock on the graphics card. I've also gone ahead and paired this GPU with the Ryzen 9 5900X with 32 gigs of memory, 3600 MHz speed, CL16. And we're using an ROG Strix B550F gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. Let's jump into the game. Now that we've made our way into the game, let's take a look at the settings and see what we're working with here. We're running the game at 1440p, native, so with DLAA for anti-aliasing. I've disabled motion blur, I'm sorry, film grain, left motion blur enabled, and everything is essentially maxed out except for the path tracing. We're going to look at that in a little bit. So here's all the settings with the red tracing off. And we'll take a look and see what we get for frames. So we're getting a pretty good 78 FPS. Take a quick look around here. It looks absolutely gorgeous. The water especially looks very, very nice, even without the path tracing. But yeah, nice little town. Kind of reminds me of when I used to live in Washington State many years ago. For the 3080 Ti here at 1440p native, we're getting really good uh, FPS. We're in the 70s at native, all the rasterized settings maxed out. Now, I do want to mention that if you are in that forest area in the beginning, the very beginning, that is a bit more demanding area. Um, it is more demanding, uh, but you're still going to be around 60 frames per second. So this area here, I would say, is more representative of the most demanding area that I've encountered so far, which is that forest area. I was getting between 55 to 60, 65, somewhere in that range, depending on what was showing, okay? I would say that if you have a 3080 Ti or 3080, because the differences between a 3080 and 3080 Ti are not that big, even a 3090. I mean, those GPUs are, it's pretty much the same chip right it's not a huge difference so you should be getting similar performance to this okay and then we also have DLSS uh, in our back pocket that we can use for some extra performance and we are going to try that get lost and then we're gonna see if we can incorporate some uh, path tracing a little bit later but let us throw on DLSS quality and we're gonna keep all the rest of the settings maxed out so let's go ahead and do that so we were running 1440p native DLA. Now we're going to go to DLSS quality. So that brings us down to 960p. And I have to say that just, just changing the settings. I mean, to me, it pretty much looks the same as it did with the DLAA, right? I'm sure if you put them side by side, maybe you can spot a few differences. But to me, it pretty much looks the same. Like if I turn my head around and someone changed the settings and then I turn my head back, I wouldn't know. Uh, that that's kind of what uh, what it looks like to me but we're getting around 100 FPS close to 100 FPS so let's kind of run around here see if there's any uh, differences but it seems to be consistently around 90 to 100 FPS in this outside area and the game looks gorgeous it's a very beautiful game even in some of the lowest settings that I tried on my previous I'm video which was the equivalent of PlayStation 5's performance mode the game still looks really really good the only stuff that takes a kind of a bigger hit i would say it's the shadows tend to break down and look a bit uh like low res and somewhat flickery but here even without path tracing the shadows actually look really good as you can see in I'll this van around. here see if you were to lower the settings further to say the playstation 5's performance mode um equivalent these shadows here would look 
quite bad actually but overall the game still retains its graphical quality as far as um, the assets themselves so here we go through this area here that's a little bit more uh, demanding with the uh, foliage and the trees and the leaves oops sorry lady I scared you birds stomping around like that scaring the poor little things Jesus they'll come back all right Okay, so in this part of the video, we're going to focus on path tracing and ray tracing on the RTX 3080 Ti. So these are the settings that I've chosen that will allow you to get around a 60 FPS experience with path trace lighting and reflections, okay? So we're leaving all our settings to high, maxed out, all our rasterized settings. We've set DLSS to quality at 1440p. And then for ray tracing, we've done kind of like a custom profile. DLSS ray reconstruction is, of course, uh, enabled. Direct lighting is enabled. Path trace indirect lighting is on medium. And transparency is off. But we can actually turn that on. And I'll go over what that is, okay? So as we can see here, we are able to get around 60 frames per second with these settings. And the graphics look amazing. It looks great, kind of like it does on my 4090. Um, pretty much almost the same. So the reflections are, of course, um, a lot more accurate than screen space, obviously. And the transparency part. So the transparency part basically allows ray trace reflections on transparent surfaces, like this glass window here, for example. So we had that turned off. We can actually enable that. And uh, the performance hit is not as big as you would think. So let's go ahead and put that on low. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so transparency is off. We'll set that to low and we'll check out high as well. Okay, so we were getting around 63 FPS and now it's around 61. So not a big hit, but now we can see the building across the street. We can see the boat. We can see ourselves. So now all the windows have reflections. And in my opinion, this is a good feature to turn on. Even though it makes it a little bit more demanding, I think it adds a lot to the immersion because, you know, there's a lot of windows around town, especially. You can look in this car here. It reflects the building. These windows here as well. Now, let's go ahead and try turning that on high and just see if, how much better it looks and how more demanding it becomes, okay? Let's go on high now. Yeah, you can definitely see that the reflections are high resolution now. And we went from 63 to 59. So yeah, it did, it did become a bit more demanding, but you can see our character is more uh, high resolution essentially, and uh, a little bit more accurate. It's totally playable. And you could always try knocking DLSS to balance. I think DLSS is, is just such a good feature that it can actually do balance even at 1440p, but it's kind of where it starts to kind of fall apart. If we're at 4K, it would be fine, but why don't we give it a try anyway? I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? Let's go to DLSS balance. So now we're at 835p. What a weird resolution. And we're at 70 FPS. Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? This here is with DLSS on balance. You can see the reflections are a little bit noisy. This here is with DLSS on quality. They're still a bit noisy, but not that bad. And this here is 1440p native. And there, it's not, you don't really see much noise. But of course, we're now at 42 frames per second, which I still think this game is playable even at that type of frame rate just because it's kind of a, like a slower pace game now i haven't made it far into the game because i've been kind of busy testing these gpus so i don't know there could be more demanding areas out there but this here it's not so bad but i still think 60 is better and we are actually able to do it so why not we're gonna go back to dlss let's go back to balance and we have our transparency set to high and path trace indirect lighting to medium. Since we went to balance anyway, why don't we try putting it on high? 
and now we're pretty much high in direct lighting and we're down to 60 fps so it's up to you guys you can uh, go with medium ray tracing and dlss quality or you can go high ray tracing dlss balance and maintain around a 60 frames per second so that is what it is look at that that just looks so beautiful the water looks amazing in this game it really does So here we are with path tracing high and reflections high. Game looks gorgeous. And DLSS on balance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video that I made taking a look at the game with the RTX 3080 Ti. And if you did and you think I deserve it, give the video a like. It would really help me out. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. and. If you want to leave some suggestions or requests down in the comment section, you can do that whether you're subscribed or not. I do like hearing your guys' uh, ideas and suggestions so that I can make more content um, that is uh, interesting to make. Anyways, I hope you guys like this and I'll see you in the next video. Probably be the 7900 XTX next.